and welcome to another drama school related video. Oh, is it weird if I'm wearing this hat? I basically live in this hat all summer, but maybe it's a bit weird if I'm wearing it inside. Um, oh, first of all, I just got to pre-read the article that the local newspaper from the town that I'm from, Valakergoski, uh, wrote about me and it was so lovely it made me so emotional it was all about me living my dreams and a girl from this little town getting into the uk's best drama school i guess ah oh, it was so so well written and so inspirational and ah oh, i'm very proud i'm very happy um i thought i'd do a little drama school q a because you guys have been sending me lots of questions and i always ask for questions on my instagram she lives her dream and that's where I'm going to get them from now. Okay, where is the drama school? The drama school is in the county of Essex, the town of Loughton, but it's literally just outside of London and the central line goes there and takes 35 minutes to Tottenham Court Road in London. Tell us something about the audition process. What did you have to do to get in? I think I'm going to do a full audition process video, but basically, for most schools I had to learn two monologues, one contemporary one and one classical, which means Shakespeare in my case, and then a song unaccompanied. And at this school, East 15, um, they asked me to come in and first perform my monologues and then they would redirect me, so they changed things about it. So when my first monologue was quite emotional with big gestures and loud voice they then make me sit in front of one of the judges and say it very calmly and very quietly and just tell it to him look him in the eye and the same thing with my shakespeare i first did my shakespeare monologue and then they picked another girl and they made us turn our two shakespeare monologues into a dialogue but I'm going to tell you a lot more about that later and which texts I picked and how I prepared if you want to know. Which schools did you audition for and which was your favourite? So I auditioned for a couple of schools. Royal Central School of Speech and Drama, but I didn't really like it because all the other auditionees were like 17 so it really wouldn't have fit in and I think that's the reason why. I wasn't recalled. Then Guildhall. Turns out Guildhall only takes three acting students a year and MTA, the Musical Theatre Academy I believe, uh, which is a private school and it's a two-year musical theatre program and yeah that was that was really cool. I'd, I'd really like to do musical theatre so I really liked that school and I liked how intense the program is but then East 15 is the school that my Adam's family director went to so I'm kind of stepping into his footsteps. Also I've always considered my strongest suit to be acting so I think I really fit into the acting program. Are you all going to live together? There's no student housing but I actually found a flat already and I'm going to be living with four girls in a shared house. The house looked really nice and really really um, modern actually. I'm going to have a tiny room of less than nine square meters but the girls seemed really nice and I've never lived in a shared house before so that's a new experience for me as well. What classes are in a school like that? Is it just acting or also theory, literature, etc? So obviously I don't have my curriculum yet, but I know that there'll be a lot of acting technique, there'll be Stanislavski and Laban, there'll be improvisation, we're gonna have movement, we're gonna have stage combat, which is basically fighting on stage, we're gonna have singing, we're gonna have voice, so all the different aspects of acting and then we're going to put on a lot of showcases a lot of different plays from different centuries and some years also put on a musical oh and there's going to be film um so acting for screen additionally to acting for stage which is quite cool oh and accents obviously accents and i'm going to do the international cause which means we're going to work a lot on getting the british accent right so the rp what's that royal pronunciation no that's wrong and then also all kinds of british regions and american accent of course oh which i really can't do <gasps> little miss brownie asks when was the point you said this is it i know i'm ready to audition for drama school 
Yeah, good question. Um, oh, I actually know. Last year in October, Lily and I went to New York and on her birthday we went to view Juilliard just to see what drama school in the US would be like. And actually, we were looking at Juilliard for Lily because she's 18 and she's going to be finishing high school soon. I fell in love. I fell completely in love. And they told us all these inspiring stories of these people who go on, study something, have a career in something, and then realize acting is what they really want to do in life. And Juilliard said they usually take students that are a bit more mature and have life experience because only if you have experienced things in your life, you'll be able to act them. So, yeah, and then Philippa Sue has gone there. Padula Pone, all these musical theatre stars have studied drama, acting, and I don't know, I, 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 I walk through Juilliard thinking this is what I want to do with my life. And that's actually when I picked up acting lessons and, oh god, I sent in a self tape to Juilliard. I didn't get recalled, but that's when I started acting lessons. I learned three different monologues for Juilliard. Uh, one Shakespeare and two contemporary and I fell head over heels in love and I knew I don't want to do anything else with my life and then after I got my no from Juilliard we kept uh, rehearsing with my acting coach, kept learning more and more monologues until we found the perfect audition monologues and until I found the perfect scores and then I went in spring and I auditioned. I knew I'd keep going back to squads and back to auditioning until I get in because this is what I want to spend my life doing. Marisa VDW asks, will it be hard to be moving away from your family and friends in Finland? So up until over a week ago, I was so anxious. I was really scared. So I've been taking therapy for half a year now and um, I was actually prescribed medicine as well to help with my mental health because I was so anxious. I was so scared that my colleagues wouldn't appreciate it, that my boss would be really angry with me, that people would be so disappointed in me and I'd be letting everyone down. Everyone's been so nice. Everyone's been so supportive. Everyone's been so kind. And that, as well as your comments on YouTube, the support I've been getting through my GoFundMe page. Oh, that's all helped so much. I haven't felt anxious at all anymore. I've actually felt excited and giddy and happy and some people have sent me some of my books through my um, Amazon wish list, so some of my um, books I need for East 15 and I can't wait to receive them, I can't wait to read them. So obviously it will be sad to leave my friends but some of my friends have gone on to do theatre already and I'm so proud of them and I know now it's my turn and everyone that I love and that loves me um, definitely stands behind me and they tell me this this is this is this is why they love me because I go and do crazy big things and I go and live my dreams and and I should do it so that's that's been really helpful yeah, I think that's it. Um, these were the questions you submitted. Stay tuned on Instagram for more Q&As. I think I promised to do a video about my auditions next. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm gonna put the hat back on and go outside. And thanks for your support. As you can see, I'm much less nervous now. All your kind words have helped so much. And now you two remember your dreams and go chase them because if we just believe in them and if we work hard, we can make them true. Yeah. I'll see you soon. Bye.